You curious? Discover more. No more. On July 12, 2022, NASA stunned the world with the much-anticipated, first images of the James Webb Space Telescope. And come to think of it, we have waited 25 years for this moment. Telescopes have come a long way. When Galileo first heard about the Danish perspective glass in 1609, he constructed his own telescope and turned it towards the heavens. With this telescope, he was able to look at the moon, discover the four satellites of Jupiter, observe a supernova, verify the phases of Venus, and discover sunspots. His discoveries proved the Copernican system, which states that the Earth, and other planets, revolve around the Sun. Today, over 400 years later, Galileo's telescope still survives, under the constant care of the Istituto e Museo di Storia della Scienza, in Italy. The museum holds exhibitions on Galileo's telescope, and the observations he made with it. If the Italian astronomer were alive today, he'd have shed happy tears, to see what we have achieved. To see how Hubble changed our perspective of the universe. And, the marvelous images of the new James Webb Space Telescope, would have filled his heart with joy. Thank you, the father of observational astronomy. We hope we have made you proud. Webb is set to herald a new age for astronomy and space research. Its large mirror helps it produce images that are two to three times sharper than Hubble's and which go much deeper into space, meaning it can see fainter sources. For its first set of images, Webb focused on five cosmic targets. Webb showed us the mesmerizing view of galaxies in the early universe, 13.1 billion years in the past. Come to think of it, the Big Bang happened 13.8 billion years ago. That's the universe in its toddler stage. Next, we got to see atmospheric composition of hot gas giant, WASP-96b. It shows distinct signature of water, along with evidence for clouds and haze, in the atmosphere surrounding the hot, puffy gas giant planet, orbiting a distant sun-like star. The state-of-the-art telescope has the unprecedented ability to analyze atmospheres hundreds of light years away. The pictures sent by the telescope reveals the presence of specific gas molecules based on tiny decreases in the brightness of precise colors of light. WASP-96b is located 1,150 light years from Earth in the southern sky constellation Phoenix. The exoplanet has half the mass of Jupiter and completes an orbit around its star every 3.4 days. With a temperature greater than 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, WASP-96b is significantly hotter as it orbits extremely close to its star, just one-ninth of the distance between Mercury and the Sun. This detailed observation marks a giant leap forward in the quest to characterize potentially habitable planets beyond Earth. For the third image, Webb cast the Southern Ring Nebula in an entirely new light. This side-by-side -side comparison shows observations of the Southern Ring Nebula in near-infrared light at left and mid-infrared light at right. But, there is something in this image that most of us have completely missed. An Easter egg, and we will come back to it shortly. The fourth image Webb revealed showed never-before-seen details of a galaxy group known as Stefan's Quintet, depicting the manner in which interacting galaxies trigger star formation in one other and how gas in galaxies is being disturbed. The composite image contains almost 150 million pixels and is made up of nearly 1,000 separate image files. And lastly, and this is my favorite, Webb revealed emerging stellar nurseries and individual stars in the Carina Nebula that were previously obscured. Images of cosmic cliffs showcase Webb's camera's capabilities to peer through cosmic dust, shedding new light on how stars form. However, Cosmic Cliffs isn't really the Carina Nebula. It's a little offshoot with a separate designation, NGC 3324. You can see it in the upper right-hand corner of the big image, of the whole nebula, which is 230 light-years across. Now coming back to the image of the Southern Ring Nebula. The Easter egg here, is located stealthily in the upper left of the Southern Ring Nebula images. If you look carefully, it looks like a streak of light, but, is actually a side view of a galaxy. Yes, you heard that right. NASA astronomer Carl Gordon made a bet, 
stating that the streak of light was part of the nebula. However, when he looked carefully at both near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument images, he knew he had lost the bet, and it was, indeed very clearly, an edge on galaxy. Not only does it look cool, but this perspective should allow astronomers to study how stars are distributed throughout the galaxy. The Southern Ring Nebula, a massive dust and gas cloud, is located around 2,000 light-years away. There are two stars in its center. The fainter one is a white dwarf, the collapsed core of a dead star that, during its lifetime, was up to eight times the mass of the Sun. It reached the end of its life, blew off its outer layers, and the core collapsed down into an ultra-dense object, up to 1.4 times the mass of the Sun, packed into an object the size of Earth. The brighter star is in an earlier stage of its evolution and will one day explode into its own nebula. Pretty cool, isn't it? But wait, we aren't done yet. If you are in a frenzy over the sneaky side glimpse of a galaxy, then wait for this. It turns out that the James Webb Space Telescope also dropped some stealthy images of Jupiter. And they're ridiculously beautiful. The images show Jupiter and its rings, as well as three of its moons, Europa, Phoebe, and Metis. You can also see the shadow of Europa in the image on the left, just next to the planet's tumultuous and infamous Great Red Spot. Here is a much better processed image. Beautiful, isn't it? And here is a cute chif. The images were taken by Webb's NERCAM, and they use two different filters, which highlight separate wavelengths of light. Part of the test was ensuring that Webb could track fast-moving objects through the solar system. For this, the Webb telescope photographed nine targets, and Jupiter was the slowest moving but, as you can see, one of the most stunning. The test also showed that it's possible to use the James Webb Space Telescope to photograph details like moons and rings around a planet as bright as Jupiter. This is all good news as it means that Webb will be useful at tracking things like near-Earth objects and comets. Overall, the commissioning report shows that JWST is performing even better than expected. But wait, there is one last thing you need to see. A bonus from NASA. That's right. Webb captured a shot of asteroid 6481 Tenzing, and this is only the beginning. NASA said that the data has started coming, and they won't stop coming. We're looking forward to more photo drops in the coming weeks and months. Webb has really raised the bar, and how? Bo Webb. To infinity and beyond. You curious? Discover more. No more.